I was honored to nominate B.J. Kasson for the ACCU President's Distinguished Service Award. This award is presented to individuals who have given exceptional service to the cause of Catholic higher education and have done so in extraordinary and creative ways. B.J. Kasson is my hero. He really believes in these kids and he believes that the end product, the ending, you know, the breaking of the cycle of poverty through education, he believes that uh, if we're not utilizing the talents of these kids, it becomes wasted. And so he really wants to help people reach their potential. We all know how education is so important in everybody's lives. We were giving scholarships specifically aimed at inner city uh, kids who may be first in their family to graduate from high school or first in their family to graduate from college. But being a businessman, I always said, how can our dollars be magnified to reach more people? And so I was looking for a platform or platforms that we could invest in that would, uh, would achieve that. I was blown away what I saw at uh, Christa Ray. I always describe this as a light bulb going off over my head. These models, if properly set up, could be uh, replicated. He couldn't talk to the religious people about franchises because they would say, we're not KFC, we're Catholic schools. So he came up with the term that we'll replicate this school, and now he calls himself the great replicator. BJ's track record in this area is unparalleled. He is authentic with regards to mission. He believes it deeply in the teachings of the Catholic Church, and he's incredibly effective with regards to model. Our model is based on our students having a job. This year, this academic year, our 13,000 students are going to bring in in the area of $85 million for their own education. So the unique part of our model is that our students are earning at least half of their own education. So it's really a unique model and we never planned it to be any more than one school, but it's, today it's 37 and still growing. BJ and his wife Bibi founded the Kasson Educational Initiative Foundation with a $12 million gift which ultimately founded the Cristo Rey Network, some nativity schools, and other Catholic preparatory high schools, which helped deserving youth in challenged communities go to Catholic higher education. We put a, um, a fund together, we called it Drexel Fund, after Catherine Drexel, who started so many schools years ago. And uh, we came up with the principles of, uh, we want them faith-based, we want them high quality, and we want them financially sustainable. BJ is not only reimagining Catholic middle and secondary education, he's also providing Catholic higher education with a diverse student body of deserving and thoughtful and intelligent students. Further, he's inspiring our alumni to help in the work of those schools adding to their sustainability. He's a bit of a contrarian. So while most people will zig, BJ tends to zag and that served him well both in his professional and his philanthropic pursuit and we have 8,017 proof points or seats in the first four years that'll show that's possible. I was asked to come when they had their first graduating class to help give out the diplomas, which was really, really uh, gratifying. Afterward, uh, this grandfather came, uh, came up, uh, Latino, uh, rugged face, cowboy hat, calluses on his hands and, and tears coming down his eyes and he came and wanted to thank me for his grandson who he was the first in their family to graduate from high school and now he was going to uh, Arizona State. I always look upon that and I've had other similar experiences that uh, as a business guy, you know, return on investment, I still think of that old gentleman that made all this kind of worthwhile. B.J. Casson's uh, legacy will be that Hundreds, if not thousands of kids will have received a proper and uh, gold standard education so that they can be the first in their families to graduate from high school and college and really get out and make a difference in the world. To be like him, to give back to society the way he has. He also continues to stay in touch with them, to inspire them, to guide them, and to support them in a wide variety of ways. He's not a distant contributor, he's an active participant in their educational mission. As talented as he is, he's also very humble. 
Uh, very straightforward, very direct, and very easy to work with. He's a very humble man. He doesn't like to be recognized. So the more that we can wave his flag and say what a great guy he is, the better it is. So I'm really happy for him and his family. This honor given to BJ by ACCU is richly deserved. My reaction is they better be prepared to give it to him again in 20 years because he'll be back and there'll be more organizations and more seats created in more schools. I'd like to thank the ACCU for this award. It's both gratifying and humbling at the same time. But I also want to make sure those entrepreneurial educators who helped start these schools are also recognized at this time. And also the 51 Catholic college and universities that are partners with the Christian Ray Network to help our students graduate and graduate on time. Again, thank you very much.